Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Phenology Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top two stocks that you should be keeping in your watch list for today. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of last night's video, right after the intro. All right, y'all, right off the bat, um, I told y'all that I was bullish on the market. And so far, that bullishness is still continuing on to today. Um, the price target was 39.20. We're back there again. And I honestly think that we can make it to 4,000. I really do think that we can make it to 4,000. It's not too much to ask. The dip right here got bought up by dip buyers. Um, there isn't anything like too concerning right now in relation to like the news or anything the trend the trend is still upwards so for all of you who are holding calls just make sure to pay yourself on the way up all right now let's talk about the very first stock the very first stock that all of you should be keeping in your watch list for today is tell and some of y'all has been asking about tell and honestly i think now is the the perfect time for me to address the situation Tell is $3.59. Some of y'all, again, like I said, I don't like penny stocks, but this one specifically has a very loaded option chain. All right. I like what I'm seeing here, the open interest. The chain is good. Hopefully, eventually, they add more contracts to this chain. But the charts right now is actually looking very good. As you can see, there's a very clear and obvious bullish pennant right over here that is about to run all right so keep this one on your watch list for a long i think this one is gonna go a lot higher let me just draw something over here all right let me draw something like this all right so watch watch um tell for a move all the way up to at least at least the previous highest of 450 at most five bucks it could go higher again you never know but keep that one on your watches for sure it's looking very good it's looking very bullish if we change this to the monthly as you can see we're all the way at the bottom here we have all of this room right here to cover look at that see that so keep that on your watch list for sure people are interested in the stock nobody was interested in the stock over here right so yeah these are these are some little things that you should keep in mind the daily looks fantastic they have earnings coming up but honestly it's in like it's in about two two weeks maybe three weeks so hopefully we may see a huge move before earnings take it somewhere that we don't care about all right so keep that one in your watches for sure the very next one that y'all should be keeping in your watches for today that stock is microsoft okay and the reason why i want to address microsoft today is because um it's because of this if you look on the 15 there is there is something happening over here there's this consolidation is not very uh, it's not very nice to short sellers to people who are trying to go short here i would not recommend it it's looking very very strong and i think i think we can make a pop above 240 245 and maybe even 247 if that happens then watch this thing for a run all the way up to like to new highs for sure to around like 260 maybe even higher okay i'm not bearish on microsoft and also if you look on the side here there are some news that dropped that microsoft is working with uh, volkswagen to develop automatic driving offerings it seems like bullish news there's some collaboration there i don't usually rely on news i never do at also at all but some of y'all like the news, so might as well just point it out since it's there. The chart is making bullish signs, so keep that one on your watch list for a potential squeeze, especially if some money flows in the spot. If some money flows in the market, then this thing is going to get pushed a lot higher, all right? So that is the top two stocks. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. Y'all always have some very, very good questions. So the very first one that we're going to tackle in this video, the question is BYND. All right. And BYND, this is, I think, the third time that I'm covering it now. 
Um, the sell-off right here, very predictable. All the feeder, all right? And ever since that entire move has been going sideways for a very, very long time, boring sideways action trading, which is terrible for both parties, all right? But now, now that I look at it, there isn't anything too special at all about this thing. Let me see on the daily, let's see. Let's see the daily chart. The daily chart yesterday it had a, it had a move yesterday. All right, it had a big move yesterday. Um, I think, I think we might see a rebound. Actually, yeah. Now that I look at it, yeah, there might there might be a rebound all the way up to one eighty, maybe one eighty five. Um, by the end of the week. So keep this one in your watches for a dip buy after this drop. Short sellers would want to take their money off the table. Some of them took their money off yesterday. And I think more of them will take their money off today and tomorrow, right? I'm not bearish on BYND as I was when we were up here. Not anymore, okay? So keep that one in your watch just for sure. Now, somebody asked me to do a recap on IDEX, all right? So what about IDEX? So IDEX, I pointed it out. I made a video about it when we were right over here at $4. I drew my circle and everything, and so far it got it got in there. If you are a hole in IDEX and you're being super, super, super greedy, just know that you should take your money off the table. Pay yourself some, okay? You don't have to pay yourself everything. Could it go higher? Yes, um, but I'm, I'm personally happy with this move right here. Again, you do what you want to do with your money. I talked about this one before. We made money on it, congratulations. All right, now it's time to look at other opportunities or you can be a long-term investor slash bag holder and just wait for this thing to go even higher because it just got out to guess like what, in 2019? And this looks like the beginning, right? So again, treat this as you want. Motherfuckers talking crazy, you know what I'm saying? I should quit. That is my alarm again. All right, I need a, yeah. That's my alarm, don't worry about that. But yeah, like, like I said, again, you can buy the dips and a hold for the next move up, or you can just hold. But again, the main point was to make money in this easy run up right here. All right. Now, the next one that we'll, we'll be talking about in this video, that is our little penny stock, that uh, SNDL. And SNDL right now, I told you all that, um, again, for all of y'all who watched yesterday's video, I told you that it's very important to pay yourself, right? and that there may be some turbulence around four bucks and we are experiencing that turbulence right now okay so um is it gonna collapse right at the gates the chances are I, again like i said it's, it's highly likely that there will be some turbulence i do expect turbulence this is normal right so what i can tell to all of you who are who have been holding sndl Again, don't forget to pay yourself, all right? I will be selling some, some, not all. Again, I sold some yesterday. I will be selling some today. If it drops a lot, then I will scoop up the dip, all right? But that that is really my my approach to SNDL. Not bearish on this thing long term. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I draw this massive circle up here for a reason. So, um, Again, manage your money, manage your risk, do what you please with it. You already want, like, we already made a lot of money here since like a dollar, all right? It's up to four bucks. Pay yourself some, all right? And then just watch the rest do whatever it's gonna do in the future. All right, now the last stock that we'll be addressing in this video, that stock is uh, space. And space, space right now, um, space right now it looked it looked pretty good for like for for shorts especially the short sellers who got over here right these individuals might get a little worried if it don't collapse like if we don't collapse they're gonna get squeezed for sure like it's 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 almost it's almost guaranteed consolidation is the worst thing for short sellers and right now it looks like they're winning it looks like they're in a good position if it crashes if it crashes to like the previous support, which is like 47, maybe even lower, then it will be great for a dip buy. Again, if it crashes that low, but if it keeps going sideways, the short sellers will be terrified and it will cover at some point and it's going to shoot up to 70 bucks and maybe even $75 in the very near future, right? So for all of you who are trading space, just be cognizant of that and, uh, and manage your risk accordingly. And that 
is the end of the video. Do not forget to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, it helps the channel grow faster and it allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on these pre-market analysis videos, which are released from Monday to Friday at exactly 8.15 a.m. Central Time, 15 minutes before the market opens. And the post-market analysis videos, which are released every single day in the afternoon. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul and Guma and at Knowledge Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if um, all of this is new to you, you're new to trading and would like to get started, I left some step-by-step -step directions in the description below step one through step three. It only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to have all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get four free stock tips signing up with Webull. Use my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video, all right? Don't get too greedy out there. Market is bullish. Yes, pay yourself some ass moving up. Enjoy the outro.